Hello there peoples of the internet, it is your boy as always, it's our geek guy back in the again with another video and today we are going to be reviewing, reviewing the Transformers The Movie Studio Series 86 Hot Rod. So let's get him out of the way really quick so we can take a look at the packaging. Right up front here we have Hot Rod with the Matrix leadership, Transformers The Movie, hello. Transformers, Autobot Hot Rod, Transformers, Generations, Karatomi. On this side we have 86 Hot Rod. On this side we got 86 Hot Rod. He's a Voyager class. On top Transformers, the movie. On the bottom, words and barcode. Back of the box, we have a quick look at the um, the product shots. And he has big screen inspired, the depths of Unicron. Hot Rod bites the darkest hour. Yeah. Very plain bio. So I decided to give him my own bio, which I created. Using the matrix of leadership, Hot Rod lights the darkest hour and becomes... Wait, no. Sorry, I messed that up. Using the matrix of leadership, Hot Rod becomes Optimus... Wait, no. Screw it. Dang it, I messed it up. <laughs> I messed it up so badly. Hold on. Using the matrix of leadership, Hot Rod becomes Rodimus Prime and uses and defeats uh, Galvatron and no, that sounds really what did I say? I forgot <laughs> okay, one more try bear with me, one more try brain is not working, okay using the matrix of leadership Hot Rod no using the matrix, sorry <laughs> okay, one more try Using the matrix of leadership, Hot Rod lights the darkest hour and becomes Rodimus Prime. Yeah, I guess that works. Yeah, okay. So we put that off to the side and now we will get straight into the bread and butter, which is a little dusty. Hot Rod. So here is 86, the movie Hot Rod. And this is what we decided. I hope y'all had a wonderful Halloween. I hope y'all had a wonderful thanksgiving i know i did um but yeah hopefully y'all y'all's school hopefully if y'all are in school hopefully everything's going well your break was well whatever i'll go back to school tomorrow so yeah that's gonna be fun anyways here is a look at 86 hot rod so let's get him closer on the details shall we have the front bumper there looking very sharp in my opinion the orange lights there lots of detail going on throughout the figure the engine Autobot logo you have the blue windshield which I do quite like it does stand out very well and it matches so good with the figure you have some more of that nice fine lined detail going throughout silver there with exhaust pipes on both sides Top, looking very very clean you have the big wing in the back again some more of those fine lines going throughout the back of the figure and the back is a little disturbing for some people but honestly I never really minded this it's completely fine with me never had a problem with it so yeah um, I do want to talk about a couple things with the vehicle when you might have noticed that the vehicle isn't perfectly aligned to each other and that is because when I first transformed it uh, the clip right here did actually break off so um, if you have experienced that problem uh, I want to show you something I want to show you how I fixed it you may have noticed when I looked at the back of the figure that the, um, the legs were misaligned that is because when it locks in it brings this whole section down and back a little bit so to fix it to make it a little more streamlined and just flow a little bit better I unclipped it and now it decides this side doesn't have doesn't come apart too much but it is still there but not as noticeable as it was before now for this side this side never likes to work with me so I just assume it's just a tab so it never really likes to fit same with the headlights um, it is a little off-center as you know on both sides which isn't bad I mean I don't I never really minded it I've gotten used to it over the years so it's not the worst but yeah so yeah there you have hot rod uh, looking very cool um as far as balance goes he is a little off center mostly on this side which is fine um, he just rolled I'll 
turning or anything. But yeah, uh, so there you have that. So let's get on to some comparisons. We're just going to be going on my G1-esque uh, figures. Here he is the Netflix uh, Wheeljack. Here is the 86 Star Scream who does not fit in frame because he is so big. Here is 86 Magnus. I have to move him around because he's so freaking huge. And last but not least, here he is with Optimus Prime Earthrise. So there you go. Now as far as accessories in vehicle mode, um, we can plug the weapons onto him. We're gonna, we'll go through more of these in uh, vehicle mode. I mean, robot mode, sorry. But I never really like to do this mostly because it's just scratch paint off the guns. We, for this video, I would guess I'll do it. Um, it does have tabs on top. So you can plug them in like so. Can you see what I'm doing? Plug them in like so. Or the engines have the engine has a slot here, so you can plug them in like so. And the saw does plug on top of it if you would like. So if you would like to desire. Oh, um, again, the tabs on either side of the gun. So as far as the effects go, um, we can plug them into the back of the tailpipes, exhaust pipes. Plug it like so, and then there you go. You can have him looshing off into battle and defeating some Insecticons. So yeah, it does look pretty cool. I do quite like it. It does hide the legs a little bit more. So yeah, it is quite, quite does complete the look. For now, do all to the side. So uh, that's basically it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to the transformation. And one thing I do love about this figure is the transformation itself. It is very, very intuitive and just so creative in many ways. I, it's like a mini masterpiece in my opinion. So let's go ahead and get down to it. I'm gonna flip the hood up, just like so. Untab the headlights from the arms. They just have been right here on either side. Close the hood up. And I've seen some people transform it like this. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but personally, I like to have the headlights out. Next, you're gonna to come back here and just well, no, I guess we'll untap the arms. That one just slides out because of the clip. But unclip it from the exhaust. It can be a little finagly. Wait, no, actually. Okay, open it up. So I have seen some people break theirs due to the joints being ridiculously tight. And mine are tight too. So what I like to do is just grab, get the fingers in there, hold the joint in place, and then move the arms down. So that way it doesn't flex the plastic or anything. And you have that all loosened up so and ready to go. Next you want to come back to the legs, just um, unclip them from the, the roof. Just like so. I think it has already. Yeah. Okay. Next you want to try and get this loosened up. Flip this up. Flip the lower body around, 180. And then we will start working on the lower body. So I'm going to open it up, bring it down, and then you're going to want to flip the foot out, bring this in, and then bring that in, just like that. And there is a leg all done. Same thing to the other side, unclip it, fold it out, bring it down, make sure the joint, he does have double jointed knees, make sure the joint is straight. You don't want him having, uh, what's it called? Like, just one joint. It should automatically do it on, on its own, but it shouldn't be like this, you know? So just have it straight out. Flip the foot down. I do like how more detail is revealed in the leg. It is really, really, really cool. I do quite like this a lot. Flip this in, flip that in, and this side never likes to tap in on mine, but it's fine. There you go, there you have the legs. The legs, the legs, there you go. The legs all done. So now we work on the upper body. So you want to want to get this part. Oops, probably raise the camera up so you can see what I'm doing. Ooh, excuse me. Just like that. Grab this section, flip it, and then tab it in. Well, actually, before you do all that, you want to grab the roof, the windshield section, bring it down, and then finish clipping that in just like so. Next, you want to flip the engine down, bring the arms up, roll, wait, no, okay, untap the hood, sorry, untap the hood, rotate this whole section around like so, bring 
the hood down, fold all of this, wait no, I keep forgetting, bring the head up, there you go, rotate the head, now bring all of this down, like so, and everything should fit nice and snug to each other, which it does, kinda, oh well, it's doable. Next you want to flip these out, flip them around, and they will just plug in right here. They just kind of thoop into place. So rotate it up, flip it down, bring out the hands. For the hands, in vehicle mode, you want to have them all the way collapsed. And for robot, robot mode, if you want, you could have them just like that. I like to have them a little splayed out. So yeah, there you go. There is Studio Series 86 Hot Rod in his, if he stands, there you go, in his robot mode. And he looks absolutely stellar in my opinion. I do love how this figure turned out. It cleans up really well in the back. Everything just folds away, compacts super, super well. And I do quite like it. So let's get in closer on the details. So for the head there, does have those blue eyes. Lighting is kind of fighting me here. I guess we do the best we can. And the gray there, the gray they use is actually really, really good. I do like it. It looks very cartoonish and I do quite like how it turned out. Chest there, obviously the fake chest, but it's still, still pretty cool. The arms there looking very, very cool. I do like how it turned out. Arms, some orange right there. Some more of those fine lines throughout the crotch, the legs. Looking very, very nice. And some more of those fine line details in the lower legs, the feet, big calves. But it's not skip calf day. And then the feet there. Of course, you do have blue effect compatibility. back very clean cleans up very very well I do quite like this a lot so for um, posability he does have a lot a lot of posing and it's just amazing how they pack so much into this tiny tiny figure so let's go ahead and get to this is basically a deluxe scale masterpiece like being so serious when I say that it's basically a deluxe scale masterpiece the head is on a ball joint, so we do get some wiggle movement there. It can look up a decent amount, down a decent amount. Head can do a full 360, they have to move it out of the way. Arms cannot, they can do a full 360. We have to like bend some stuff around. There you go. And they can go in and out, straight out T posing, which is nice. Do have bicep rotation arm on a single joint at over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow you do have wrist rotation see the, the mushroom peg right there hands can open and close it does have a waist rotation rotate very fr freely due to the nature of the backpack being so compact uh, legs can go forward about that far back about that far um, outwards it can do a full split uh, legs I wouldn't recommend if yours is as tight as mine I wouldn't recommend grabbing below I would recommend grabbing at the thigh so it is I might need to loosen up the screw still but it is very very stiff so I would advise grabbing the thigh and not the calf uh, legs as you've seen before he does have a double jointed uh, Double joint and knee. The first joint can only go about that far. Second joint, about that far, which is actually really good on its own. If one, you can use them both, so make it a little more natural. But yeah, it does look really cool like that. Obviously, more than 90 degrees of bend at the elbow, uh, the foot. Hold on, get them balanced. The foot can pivot forward and backwards. You do have ankle tiltage, a lot of it too. So basically he does have all the necessary joints and he does move very, very freely. 
Now for accessories, first we will, we will be going on what is inside of him. So he does have quite a few accessories here. Open up the head. He does have no scope to details, but he can flip out his visor, which looks very cool on him. A pair of sunglasses. I do quite like the, how he looks with the with the goggles. They didn't have to include that, which I'm very glad they did, but um, I'm very glad they were able to include that, which is very cool. So, um, close up the hand, open the bot, open this bottom part out, flip around the hand, and there you go. There he has the welding tool where he can use to fix cup, which is actually really cool. Um, not really much detail wise, but it is pretty cool that they included it. Again, they didn't have to, but they did it, and I am very proud of them. Very happy for them. This side, close up the hand, and he has a peg here. Now, what is the peg for exactly? Well, it's for his saw that I showed off earlier. Oops, he's about to fall down. Okay, come on, Harrod. There you go. Plug that in, and there you go. There is the saw. Very, very cool. I do like how much of a playability this figure does have and how much possibility he does have, so there you go, just like that. Flip out the hand again. Now as far as the other accessories, he does include quite a few of them. Now for the guns, he does dual wield, which is very nice. I always like characters who dual wield. Uh, we'll look close, take a closer look at this one. Nice dry brush silver there. Cast in red, but painted silver, which is very nice. I do quite like how it turned out. This one too. Oops, sorry, hot rod. My bad. Don't break. There. A little bit of paint scuffage due to the fact that I do put the blast effects on him. But yeah, overall, nice looking sculpt for both the guns. Very, very nicely detailed and sculpted, if I do say so myself. And he does have, of course, the Matrix of Leadership. This is a little bit of a darker blue than the Earthrise uh, Prime, but it does look really, really cool, and I do quite like it. Obviously, there's a hole here. Yeah, nice, very, very nice. Does have an effects part for the Matrix of Leadership, or if you want, you can have him getting shot in the head. <laughs> Whatever you want to do there. Uh, it does include two of these blast effects, mostly for the guns and the exhaust, which do look very, very cool. I do quite like how these are like a icy vibe to them. They, look, they do look really, really cool in my opinion. They're both the same. I wanted to know, and the, as you can see, some little bit of silver gets scuffed in there, but it's fine. But yeah, overall, he comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven accessories. For the Lux figure, I guess it does jack up the price a little bit. Now, you know this figure has a lot of posing, a lot of accessories. So we're gonna go ahead and do a video montage of the, what's it called, um, poses you can get them into. So let's get into that right now. it for comparisons I know I did quite a few of them but I got a little carried away but it's fine so now let's get on to some comparisons shall we let's 
Here he is with the 86 Coronation Starscream, or Earthrise Starscream. Here he is with the Netflix Warfare Cybertron Wheeljack. Here he is with the Earthrise Leader Class Optimus Prime. Here he is with an actual Leader Class, so you can see how he is. And yeah, he's pretty small compared to Grimlock here, but there is that comparison. And for another leader, leader class comparison, here he is with the Kingdom Ultra Magnus. So you can see how that scales. And yeah, he's pretty big. I can't imagine how the Commander one compares to this one. But yeah, there you go. That's pretty much it. So there you have it, peoples of the, of the internet. There is the Transformers, 80, Transformers the movie 86 Hot Rod. And honestly, this is a solid... 10 out of 10 figure in my opinion. I don't care what any of y'all say. He is a solid 10 out of 10 figure. Yes, I've heard some breakages from people's, but I guess it's just bad copies. This figure did have quite a few of them. I was lucky enough to have a little bit of minor inconveniences, I will admit. But overall, it is still a great figure. I'm not deducting points off of it. Sculpt wise, uh, for cartoon animation one, I'd say it's a 10. Paint wise, uh, probably about a 9.5 just due to the little bit of scuffages I have with the exhaust and the silver well the silver in general I guess um, transformation solid 10 out of 10 I love how everything is compact so I have everything transforms even back to vehicle mode it is very very solid and I'm very pleased with how it came out uh, articulation solid 10 accessory solid 10 again uh, yeah it's just overall a 10 out of 10 figure I would highly recommend it if you pick one up if you haven't already hopefully you have because this figure is pretty rare now so I was able to I was luckily able to get mine before like the stocks were completely out of this figure uh, I did see this or the pen and bone movie movie Starscream in the same spot and I was debating on getting which one but I was like nah I'm getting hard ride because I already have a Starscream so there's that, so uh, that's basically pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the notifications so you can stay tuned on what's to come. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, stay safe, and so all are one. Well, this one actually applies. So all are one. Light our darkest out.